Hi, this is Eric Auger, entrepreneur, real estate agent with America's Choice Realty and innovator of the real estate industry, creator of the signature approach to sell home. Today's topic is my morning routine. So uh, I've been recording videos every day now for about a week and the thing is that when you do that is after a while you kind of run out of uh, ideas and that's mostly because I'm a beginner at this and so I'm still uh, perfecting my craft. So rather than uh, figuring out anything to talk about, I wanted to do something useful and share with you my morning routine. To give you a little bit of background for years and years and years and years, I never had one. Um, I did not take very good care of my health, I hate whatever I wanted, whenever I wanted. And um, it showed in my energy and it showed in my body too because I was, I gained, I gained weight um, and my energy was, was kind of low and sluggish and my mindset wasn't right. So uh, about two years ago, I implemented a morning routine, something that I stick to every single morning. The benefit of doing that is that it gives me certainty and it prepares me for my day. So uh, without any more delays, here's what my morning routine looks like. Number one is I wake up a lot earlier than I used to, 4.30 in the morning. I know some of you are going to think it's crazy, but trust me, it does make sense. When you try it, it does make sense. 4.30, the first thing that I do is I do um, almost immediately after waking up 20 minutes of meditation. Now, um, to some of you, it may sound a little frou-frou, but I, trust me, I was just like you before. I didn't think meditation was uh, useful or did anything <laughs> for anybody. I just thought it was frou-frou, but since I've tried it, I am completely sold. So for 20 minutes, I will, uh, I will meditate. And um, a lot of people think meditation is about having those out-of-body experiences and seeing the world and, and seeing the future and having visions. That's not what it is at all. Meditation is a time for yourself where you can just quiet down everything, shut everything down and be in your body, being with yourself and connect and being with the present. So for 20 minutes, I go through different breathing exercises and visualization exercises. And uh, what it does is that the benefit of doing it when you wake up is that your brain is still in a very low, uh, brave, uh, when brave length, uh, length yeah. And so um, when you meditate, as soon as you wake up, it's easier to get into that relaxed, uh, that the perfectly relaxed state. So for step number one, 20 minutes of meditation. Step number two is um, I will learn something new. I'll grab a book, I'll grab a uh, video program, an audio, whatever it is, and my purpose is never to complete the whole program or the book, but I will just take a chapter that interests me and I will read it. It takes about 20 minutes or so. And my purpose is always to learn something new, learn something that I didn't know the day before and to document it in my journal. Now, the benefit of doing that is that you make small incremental steps in your improvement and over a, period, over a long period of time, it, it compounds together and you, make, you, you actually gain a lot of knowledge by just doing 20 minutes a day. Next step is I go to the gym, something that I used to never do and I didn't think I would never be in a gym. I was just too scared for that. But uh, I go every morning for an hour in the gym and do, and do what I call HIIT training, which are like short bursts of very, very high intensity exercise for like four minutes. Then you rest two minutes, you do another four minutes and so on. And I do that for an hour uh, at the gym every morning. Here is with the benefit of doing that is that now you have your mind is in the right place. Now you're putting your body in the right state. You're getting the, the oxygen flowing through your blood and, and you get your body moving. And over the course of time, of course, you know, you gain strength and muscle. And so you feel good, you lose weight and you feel good in your body, which is an essential component of being able to face all the stress uh, that, that, that you may face uh, during the day. I'm sure I'm not the only one. Uh, once this is completed, my next step is a healthy breakfast. I used to skip breakfast altogether and that was a huge mistake because your body needs the nutrients throughout the day. And the most important part of that healthy breakfast beside protein and a little bit of carb is a green smoothie because it feeds your body all those nutrients that you need during the day in order to function properly and to keep your energy level high. Once this is uh, completed, my next exercise for about 10-15 uh, minutes is gratitude, where I take the time to express my gratitude to the people I care about and the people I love. 
And, and this is very, very important because it sets your mind to think positive and gratitude instead of stress, problem, negative anxiety, and so on. And so very important. And plus, you know, every time you express your gratitude to somebody, you make a deposit in their emotional bank account, makes them feel good. So it benefits two people at once. It's beauty, a beautiful thing. And once this is completed, then I can start, you know, my day. And so the, what I've noticed, you know, since I've implemented that is that I have more energy, I'm more positive, I'm more clear, I make better decisions. And uh, I used to be prone to anxiety, and I am not anymore. And so the power of a morning routine is really, number one, to give you certainty every morning, and then number two, it sets you up for a very productive day. And that also applies to selling your house. See, in order to be successful by selling your house, meaning getting the maximum profit possible in a short period of time without wasting money and with no stress at all, you need to have a structure. You can't just shoot from the hip. And a lot of agents shoot from the hip. Their marketing strategy is, you know, take the listing, do whatever it is for the home seller to sign on the dotted line, put the pictures in the MLS, the sign in the front yard, and then wait. That is not a strategy. You need to have a strategy that's based on, on, on a marketing principle uh, psychology, buyer psychology, in order to achieve a higher result when selling your home. And so um, I've created the same routine, and this is what I've called the signature approach to sell home. I've, kind of, I've packaged that all together. I've tested it. It works. It gives better results. It is uh, far, far, far from the price-driven pro approach that most agents use. And because it is unlike what they use, we're getting better results. So if you want more information on the signature approach to sell homes, the website is here. Just go visit. You will find uh, some explanation on the four fundamental principles that I use when selling a home and why this gives my clients better results. I hope you enjoy this video. I know it was kind of a little bit off the cuff. Uh, everything went wrong, you know, but the technology went wrong. And, and, and anyway, long story short, uh, I'm glad I did my meditation this morning. So um, again, the signature approach to sell homes. I will see you in the next Facebook Live. Until then, be well.